I can't believe Lou talked me into this. Writing about the pilgrimage and how I experienced it from start to finish. Yeah, all the way from the say till the very end. When I look back on it, it was supposed to start with Yuna's voyage. The day after she became a summoner. Yuna, Lulu, Kimari and myself. But somehow, it actually started with this one dude. Said he was from Xanarkin. Played for a team called the Xanarkin Abes? Of course, I didn't believe him. Who would? Xanarkin has been in rubbles for about a thousand years, but he said he got close to Sin, which would explain a lot with the toxin and everything. He's got some moves, that's for sure. Better than Dotto or even myself for that matter. So, he's gotta join our Blitz team, at least for this one tournament. You want me on your team, right? A major blitz tournament's coming up. All the teams in Spira will be there. It's so huge, I'm sure someone there will recognize you. Then, you can go back to your old team, right? It'll be fun. What do you say, huh? Come on, come on. Sure thing. Ooh, our team is gonna rock, eh? With him on our team, there was nothing that would stop us from doing well this time around at the tournament. We'll I mean, come on. He's the star first. player of the Zanarkin Apes. Nothing can go wrong, right? See, you do remember the prayer, right? You must have forgot or something. Here, I'll show you. Go ahead, you try. Uh, uh. Okay, not bad. Okay, now, go present yourself to the temple summoner. I went to get some stuff ready for him. A bed, some food later. I hope he's visiting the temple. Maybe the priest had some guidance for him, or... I don't know. Maybe just help him remember it, since he seems to have forgotten everything since his encounter with Sin. He didn't even remember the prayer. I'd say he was lucky to have wound up here instead of some out bed place. Who knows what they would have done to him. Probably turned him into some kind of slave. Fuck those I'll bet sand blasted grease monkeys. Once he took a nap, the priest came shortly after, talking about how it's taking Yuna such a long time to pray. Was Valifor being difficult? Is Yuna maybe not ready? I was worried. How could I not be? I was hesitant to go in. Lulu and Kimar were already in there, guarding her. Would they think that I don't find them capable if I went in to help? Not to mention that Lu has a short as hell fuse. She could burn my butt to Besaid's benevolent beaches in seconds. Then wrong? the big boy Blitzball player Someone came in running like try. his life depended on it. Eh? And I couldn't believe I that he just nice. ran in there. I was so Reception fucking mad, you obeyed. wouldn't believe. But like he was worried about the summoner and he was under the toxin. I had to go after him. He could get seriously hurt, not Maybe. to mention that the other this guardians might idea, actually kill him if they see his dumbass as a threat. So of course I ran in after him, I hope they won't kill him if they see me with him. So after him I went, through the Cloister of Trials. I'm honestly surprised how fast he did it. I only got up to him at the very end, right before the Chamber of the Faith. Okay, okay. These cloisters were meant summoners to be sort of a test for summoners. The harder the puzzle in reaching the chamber, the more powerful the Aeon that the summoner would receive if they are so deemed worthy you? by the Faith. Me? I'm a guardian. What are you Thankfully, doing? no one actually murdered him, and Yuna became a summoner. One of the youngest that Besate has ever had, for that matter. Baraska would be proud of her the last high summer to bring us the calm and rid us of sin, at least until he was reborn a few months ago. We went outside to watch Yuna do her very first summon, a spectacle for sure, 
the entire village came out to join us. Now, from what Lulu told me, dances aren't necessary in order to perform the actual summon. She's been a guardian before, twice in fact. But she later told that Yuna might just be so in tune with the faith that dancing comes naturally to her and that she even summons more powerful versions of the Aeons compared to other summoners. That night, Lou and I had a, well, you could say it was a heated argument, well, more like a one-sided beatdown of words, but still. The new guy kind of reminded me of my little brother, Chapu. Maybe that's why I was also so quick to forgive him. Maybe he would have some answers what it's like in your sin, or maybe he had some info on my brother. I miss Chapu. While waiting for Yuna, I gave the guy a gift. A sword. Chapu sword, to be specific. He left it behind when he went to join the Crusaders. Never used it. I thought better bring it along while I still could and let him use it, better than leaving it to rust here on the island with no one to use it. Yuna, on the other hand, she looked like she was going on vacation and not to save the whole of Spira from impending doom. That day we left for Kilika Island, Lulu, Yuna, Kimari and I. The new boy also came with us, as the Blitz tournament was coming up in Luka, which we will be passing through. My last ever Blitz tournament. Man, it's hard to think about it. I've been playing for 10 years and never won a single match. Mr. Star Play will help us change that for the team. That's the plan, at least. I hope it works. Everyone was waving goodbye and shedding tears as Yuna was leaving the village, finally on her journey. Her pilgrimage to obtain the final Aeon and defeat Sin. The same as how the previous summoners have done before her. We all waved one final goodbye and left the island to go forth and seek out the next summon, Ifrit on Kilika. <laughs>